I'm Melanie Toasted Blonde. Welcome to my channel. So glad you are here. And today we're talking about Radiant Defense by Rodan and Fields. I'm going to give you a full length review. I wore it like three, four days. Actually, I wore it a long time. And I have wear tests and outdoor footage and a dupe for you. So uh, stick with me. So. I'm Melanie. I like makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, a beauty guru, influencer, really anything. I just put out videos. I try and get out two a week, but like, oh my gosh, everybody's been sick. I'm sick right now. Um, the sickness lasts like five days that my whole family's rolled through it and I finally got it and I was like, I'm just gonna film. So this is what you, this is what you get. Oh, I have sensitive skin. I have rosacea that flares up awful sometimes. Um, I'm 45 years old, almost 46. I'm getting these wrinkles everywhere. See? Crinkly eyes and I don't know what else to tell you. Subscribe to my channel if any of this stuff interests you or you find something in common with me or if you think I'm fucking funny. Oh, and I swear in my videos, warning. Okay, so let's get to it. I hate long reviews and I've like rambled on because I'm sick enough. Okay, first let me apologize. I am sick. My hair needs to be done. I have like minimal makeup on. I am actually wearing the Radiant Defense I'm going to be talking about. And you can see it looks kind of like natural makeup. Let's, let's just go in close right now so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll have outdoor footage later and some more close-ups and plenty of views, but let's uh, look right now. This is what it looks like. Boom. Okay, it's Radiant Defense. It's by Rodin Fields, which in it's sixty-six dollars. I know, for one point six nine ounces. Uh, it's available online. I'll link it down below. I have a friend who sells it, Liz. So you don't know, shop with her. Shop with your consultant. Okay, so let's talk about this product. What the hell is Radiant Defense? Well, it's like an SPF thirty. So it's it's. It's touted as a sunscreen, but it also has like peptides in it and other things for anti-aging and, and it's a foundation. It provides coverage. So it's like they're, they're calling it Derma Cosmetics, but really it's very similar to IT Cosmetics, BB or CC creams. Okay, that's essentially what it is. Okay, let's talk ingredients because... <sighs> You just kind of have to when you're talking about like anti-aging stuff. So the first, there's three uh, sunscreens, two physical titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, and then there is one chemical. Um, I gotta look at my notes. Octin, octin oxate. I can't pronounce these things. Octin oxate. It's at three, three and a half percent. This is something that is actually rated like a four, five, or six on a scale of like be careful of. Some people say it's not good for, um, I mean, scary stuff that it crosses in through the placenta and things like that. So, but it, it really is in lots of makeup. Okay, but if you're cautious, it's the only thing that you have to be like, whoa, watch out for. Now let's talk about the good things. Okay, Rodana Fields has this RD3 technology or something like that, but it ha basically is it has antioxidants in it and peptides and other chemicals to help anti-aging. So I took a look at these ingredients and I'll share them with you. And I'm gonna give you a timestamp up here if you just wanna get to like my final thoughts. Because I'll ramble on through this and through how it wore and then the footage and then a dupe and then my final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts. Okay, I'm gonna look at my notes a lot. All right, so this what next ingredient is such a giant name. Bisethyl hexyl hydro dimethox benzyl malate. Gotta write it here. Okay, basically, uh, this thing is good for blemishes. I don't know, it says, I like looked up scientific reports and like, hey, look, it works really well for blemishes. So that's an interesting thing. The next two things, um, also I looked up scientific studies on uh, carson, carso, sin, and ectoin, listed here. They, uh, one is an antioxidant, again, it works in the studies, and the other protects the ecto Ectoin protects the skin from UV rays. Let's talk about the peptides. There are two. 
These are the same ones that are in their Soothe compounds if you've tried Rodan Fields Soothe. They're the Ogliopeptide 10 and the Tetrapeptide 16. The first is good for, hold on, uh, anti-acne, antimicrobial, maybe good for rosacea. And the second calms the skin from inflammation. So when I like synthesize all this information, I'm saying, Basically, they made something to cover your skin if you have rosacea or red skin and help calm it. That's what it sounds like, and you know what? That's what it did for me. The dog is jumping at the door. <laughs> okay, it's snowing today, and I had to, like, wait for all off. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm sick and I look like this. Okay, okay, that's what it did for me. So, pretty freaking awesome, right? It didn't irritate my skin. It didn't make my rosacea worse. In fact, when I take it off at night, I swear my skin looks better. It doesn't look as red and as inflamed as then when I go and put all my other stuff on it. Okay, um, I think there's something to it. I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so let's talk about the product. I find it really easy to use. I put a couple dots on my face. I apply it with either a brush or a uh, found a sponge and it applies really nice now if i cake it up with foundation too much foundation and concealer and powder under on my eyes it really looks crinkly but i mean look at my eyes but on my face it looks like skin i wouldn't say it exactly feels like skin it feels like there's a fine layer of makeup foundation on there but it doesn't feel heavy or cakey i mean it doesn't even look heavy or cakey but you do detect something like a light moisturizer feel on your face um Okay, let's cut the footage and you can see how it wore, what it looks like outside, and then I'll be back with a dupe and final thoughts. Now let's apply it. I like to shake it up. You hear a little clicking? And then just apply it with my finger first and then apply it. See, I like this uh, applicator. So you just squeeze it out. Can you see? Just squeeze it out and apply. I don't know, those basic dots. I always need a little bit more down here. And up here. All right, let's just do it. All right. Okay, so I slowed it down and put a before and after so you can see all the rosacea and I got pretty good coverage. Um, I mean, obviously I could do better, but uh, this is good, I'm, it makes me happy. Look, I'm happy. You know I love outdoor footage. It really shows what the foundation looks like, and I'm digging this. I like it. Uh, I hate my hair. Yes, I hate it. Okay, next thing you should know is I forgot to do a wear test this day, so we're going to move on to the next day. <gasps> okay, let's apply it again. Uh, I don't know that I did such a great job yesterday, so let's just try it. Damn, that is an annoying noise, so I'm going to talk over it. I am wearing the shade beige, which is the second lightest shade you can see there on my swatches. I'm a little red today. See, so today's a good day to see what it looks like. All right, um, let's try it with a brush today. All right, let's, let's, get, let's go all up under the eye today. Now, when you have all these wrinkles like I have, I think I'm going to put a little bit more in here and try and blend it up around my eyes a little bit more. Okay, so there you go. Um, I'll put on the rest of my makeup and be back soon. Okay, so this is my final look, and uh, I'll get back to you with a wear test. It's been about eight hours, and uh, I've got turmeric on my face. Um, I'm getting ready to wash my face, and... Uh, Let's see, I think it's, the foundation's still there. Um, it's kind of rubbed off. I got very oily here. Um, my chin's pretty much gone from, and I had to blow my nose a lot. So it's still there, but I mean, I, I would not say I look flawless by any stretch of the imagination. One of the problems I'm having with this is that you're not supposed to put a primer down before your sunscreen, but I think you can when it's a physical sunscreen. Think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my brush with uh, MAC Prep and Prime and see if that helps a little bit with the staying power. Okay? That wet my brush. And then I'm going to put it on with a brush. It didn't really seem to take much to smooth out my, my skin today, but seeing that this is a uh, sunscreen, I think I want, honestly want a little bit more on my skin. All right? 
there, there we are. Okay, I slowed this down and put it side by side because I want you to see that I'm really getting good coverage. Not full coverage, but good medium coverage, evening out all that skin tone. Okay, check it out. My final look with my Radiant Defense. <laughs> and uh, here I am. Um, oh, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Okay, so here is me with my Radiant Defense outside. Check it out. Chorus behind me jumping at the door. Okay, here's where I really screwed up. Check out those eyes. I put on too much powder, concealer, I really caked it on, and those eyes cannot handle this. Don't do it. Okay, so 10 hour check in. It's got a little like, kind of, you see, like patchy looking, in, like the dry spots. Rubbed off my chin, don't know why. It just kind of looks drier, but it's still there. It's still going 10 hours. All right, you saw the footage, and now you're here because it's time for the dupe. It's all about the dupes, the dupes. It's all about the dupes, and you know what? I failed you. I freaking failed. There's a dupe. It's very similar. It's it cosmetics, but it's the same price. It's $40, but you only get one ounce, and this is $66. You get... 1.69 ounces or something so that's not really a low cost dupe and then I tried Maybelline uh, BB Dream Fresh and that was a freaking failure okay not a dupe at all um, get, got my skin all red and irritated and it had no coverage so so not a dupe and then I've heard Garnier 5-in-1 but I have not tested it because honestly I love this foundation look at me Look at me. <laughs> Time for my final thoughts. My final thoughts always come down to this. It is, would I buy it again? And the answer is probably. I got the sample months ago, and then I kept thinking about it, thinking about it, and then I finally bit the bullet and bought it. Um, primarily because I tried Rodin and Field Soothe, and I thought the price for that regime was too high, too expensive, and I didn't like all the products. But I like the peptides, and I thought there was something better looking about my skin after finishing it. And I looked, and some of the same ingredients are in this product. And so I'm hoping it's going to continue to uh, even out my skin tone and make me look flawless someday, but probably not. However, I really like this product. Look, I'm sick today. I put it on in like a minute. I put a little brow powder on lip gloss and then voila oh mascara and voila I'm done in two minutes and I think I look freaking good I wish I had taken a before picture to show you how sickly I looked but like this is a major improvement for me at my sick face I had earlier today so that's about it I would definitely buy it again I'm definitely gonna go for it I don't know how long it's gonna last I'm hoping I get like shit six months out of it that's usually what you get out of a foundation um the last thing it would be that i think i like this for winter i wouldn't buy it in summer uh it's only a 30 spf and i like a 50 in the summer so this is perfect for winter time for me but not so much for summer that's it thanks for watching melanie mills subscribe to my channel bye I'm having problems with the inner side of my eyes i don't know what to do they're always too dark mm. Check it out. <laughs>